Hello, in this video I want to show you um, snipper free calculation results for my uh, for my eye color study. The population size is 522, it's a pretty big study. Uh, the number of markers is 22 and the population is 6. The populations are blue, green, hazel, uh, dark brown, brown and blue with the name center. So pretty much the whole spectrum of eye colors that people uh, have. So uh, this chart shows the um, allele frequencies for some of these uh, different populations. For the most important, for the two tw 22 most important uh, S&Ps that I, um, I panned out. So I did not remove any of the people from this chart. So when I created my ACAT 4.0 or ACAT 3.0 or whatever, I was creating my uh, app, I actually removed some of the people from Blue and Amber Center and Green Group, uh, those who had anything other than GG for this S&P. So this is the most important S&P within this chart. And uh, when I was creating my app, I removed all the Blue Amber Center and Green Eyed people who have anything other than GG with this SMP. So anything other, other than the typical blue Y uh, genotype, I removed that because I wanted to examine uh, what input the other SMPs in this, in this list have on the eye color and differentiating green and blue amber center from blue eyes. I hope you understand what I mean here. Uh, but this is the raw data. This is not without anything removed. Everything is present in here. Uh, this is the original data. Um, of course, this is the divergence um, divergence table of the S&Ps, and we can see that the HERC2, these are both within HERC2, are the most important S&Ps that contribute the most to the divergence between different eye colors. And here is a nice little chart. Let me zoom it, zoom it in. I'll zoom it in. A nice little chart showing uh, the success ratio of classifying multiple people based on this uh, data using the Hardy-Weinberg principle. So uh, this you can look at it as a way of uh, how, how good it is at classifying the eye color, but you can also look at it as a relation chart, how uh, closely uh, these populations are related to one another. So for example, if you look at a population of blue origin, you can see it is mostly, re mostly related to the blue origin. Uh, followed by 12.35% green origin. So 12.35% of people with blue eyes were classified as having green eyes by this data. 11.11 uh, .11 were classified as having blue eyes with a neighbor center. Uh, very little percentage hazel, very little percentage brown, and absolutely no 0% dark brown. So uh, it is impossible for somebody with blue eyes to be classified as having dark brown eyes. Uh, on the basis of this data, pretty much. That's what it means. Uh, then if we go to the green origin, you see that uh, it's actually most people with uh, green eyes mostly were classified as having blue eyes by this data, uh, followed by green, followed by blue with an amber center, followed by hazel, uh, slightly larger percentage of brown, and there is a percentage of dark brown. So for people who believe that, for example, green eyes are just a variation of blue eyes so it's just a blue gray green this is this is the typical what the typical person believes light eyes are well that's not really the case because green eyes are more related to dark brown and they are more related to brown than blue eyes are so there is a certain pull towards brown and dark brown and even hazel uh, colors so for example you compare a population of green origin 13.5 percent of them get classified as having hazel eyes compared to the 6.17% of the population of blue origin. That's a big difference. Uh, then let's let's move on to another uh, group. It is the population of blue with an amber center origin. Uh, they, for the most part, get classified as the, the, la the largest uh, group here is the blue with an amber center. That's the most overlap. Uh, what's interesting is there is no overlap with dark brown. So they are kind of like blue in the sense that they don't have an overlap overlap with dark brown, but they do have an overlap with brown, which is 7% uh, of people with blue with an amber center eye color. 
uh, get classified with this data as having brown eyes. So there is some overlap. It is greater than the overlap of green-eyed people and blue-eyed people. Uh, in terms of hazel, 17.6% uh, is a, once again a big overlap, uh, greater than the green eye population and of course greater than the blue eye population. But if you look at the hazel population, uh, they kind of uh, kind of everybody gets it a little bit. There's blue-eyed people who get classified as hazel. There's green-eyed people who get classified as hazel. There's, of course, 47.7% of hazel-eyed people who get classified as hazel. Uh, hazel is just kind of this intermediate eye color that everybody gets, even even uh, dark brown. But I guess, I guess people with hazel eyes don't get dark brown all that much because it's only 3.6%. So I guess there isn't that much of an overlap between hazel and dark brown. Uh, dark brown is really like the um, the outlier here because because everybody gets it at a, at a very low percentage. It's only population of dark brown origin uh, that get uh, dark brown in the result, and still it's fifty six point nine percent. So most people with uh, dark brown eyes get classified with this data as having dark brown eye color. Thirty four point four percent get classified with this data as having brown eye color. 8.6% get classified as hazel eye color and 0 green, 0 blue, 0 blue with an amber center. Population of brown origin, so people with brown eyes, for the most part, get classified as having brown eyes. So the overlap here is 41.7%. Then hazel, actually no, then dark brown. So I guess uh, dark brown origin is a little bit closer in terms of genetics to brown eye origin rather than hazel, but it's kind of intermediate. So you could say brown eyes are an intermediate between hazel and dark brown. Um, so 1.74% get classified as green, 2.55% get classified as blue with an amber center, and none of them get classified as blue. So if you have brown eyes, uh, you will never be classified as having blue eyes by this data with these 22 SNPs. So this is one of what I wanted to show in this video, if you like it. Uh, press the like button.